if you feel any pain. Hi, welcome everybody, it's me, Dr. Carl Lake, and you've tuned in to my live streaming videos on cysts and lipomas. If you're new to the channel, I specialize in the removal of cysts and lipomas. Today we're doing our review of videos that we've compiled over the past week, as well as releasing our brand new video. So our brand new video that we filmed for this week is here. We're gonna be previewing it. But before we do that, we thought we'd touch base on this rather large lipoma that we completed last week. Absolutely massive lipoma, probably the largest lipoma of 2020. Can't imagine we're gonna to get topped uh, by anyone on, on the internet with a larger lipoma than that. If you haven't seen this video, then you gotta check it out. It's on the YouTube channel. It's hit well over 30,000 views, and it's absolutely uh, beautiful to remove and great to, to, to look at. If you've got any questions about cysts and lipomas or you'd like treatment, then lipomacyst.com is your global one-stop shop for cysts and lipoma treatment. So I really wanted to showcase some of the work that we had today, and that involved looking at what we've done before, but also taking you through what is gonna be the video that we're gonna release today. Now, I promised you October was going to be Lipoma October, Oktoberfest, but I know a lot of you can't stomach lipomas, so we've got to break up the monotony. And uh, one thing I did notice is that in lockdown, a lot of people are having the surgery a lot later. They're presenting a lot later for a lot of reasons, access, fear, uh, etc. Uh, or they've been shielding, and as a result, cysts, which were otherwise normal, have now broken down and become infected. So I'm getting a lot of infected cysts. So the next video actually showcases what an infected cyst looks like. We've done this before, we've had great results, but this next video that we did just came out like this waterfall cyst. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut to the video, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, and then we're gonna talk about it. So let's, uh, let's see if we can bring that up now. So stay with me. We're gonna look at today's video. So there it is, that's today's video, everyone. Have a look, so this is actually a sebaceous cyst. It's on this guy's back, it's been there for a long time. You can see the punctum just there in the center. Uh, it's just popping up there. And uh, other than that, you cannot really make out the contours for the cyst, it's all been distorted. Um, so he's come to see me, he's in a lot of pain, a lot of agony, uh, and no amount of antibiotic is gonna be able to dig deep into that rather deep uh, abscess. So what we need to do is drain it uh, and clean it out. So we've got to put the local anesthetic in, but unfortunately a complication of uh, these kind of infections is the pH changes and therefore the anesthetic doesn't work as well. So sometimes you get to, uh, you don't have that great anesthetic control that you would do otherwise. But anyway, we can't really let him go home with an infected abscess like that. So we've got to help him out and we've got to do our best. So let's have a look where we go with this. You okay? Yeah. 
So as you can see, we've put the anesthetic in and now we're gonna kind of separate that top layer. You can just about see the, uh, the shiny surface of the sac underneath the skin there. So we're just gonna try and open that up a bit and see if we can get a better access. But you know what, it's so friable and the whole thing has just, it's just given way and what you get is this kind of very beautiful um, toffee type colored ooze looks like honey um, slightly bit thicker than water and it just comes out and that is an abscess uh, completely infected there it's mixed with blood there's none of that creamy white stuff that we see normally when we remove a cyst this is completely infected you can see there's small bits of particle that have been dissolved that become necrotic inside it so there we go that is causing this young gentleman a lot of discomfort uh, and so look getting this out will provide him with immediate relief remember this is septic this is this is a reservoir of bacteria that the body's just not going to be able to fight and eventually his body will either kind of succumb to it or, or will have rather large scarring underneath so getting that incision you can see we've made a small incision just to get all that stuff out and you can see just how much the skin has been indented it's fallen right in a lot of you commenting on the volume or describing it in waterfall terms definitely like Niagara Falls there so look like I say infected cysts if you can think of a cyst normally as a as a balloon a rubber balloon and you blow it up and then you fill it up with foam well, that's like a normal cyst the foam is in, is encased inside the balloon we know where the foam is and we know where the balloon is so it's rather easy to take out we make the incision we can take the whole thing out whole the problem we all encounter is when the cyst becomes infected so the problem here is the um is the is the is the balloon if you want to think of it or the cyst wall it breaks down it, it's like putting a pin to that balloon that rubber just disintegrates and all of that foam that was in that balloon then decides to spread all the way out into the tissue and so being able to remove the sac in its entirety is really really difficult trying to find those pieces is near impossible so what you've got to do is you've got to do a clean out now there traditionally in the olden days you would have um, two options really one one real option and that's the incision and drainage so you make the cut you drain it and then you got to pack it and so you you kind of wash it out or you curette it and then you pack it so you get this special um, ribbon and you start packing it what I've gone through here is the curette what I've got is a seven millimeter surgical um, curette blade and I've gone in and I'm just kind of scraping the insides like I'm trying to get out all the muck that's attached to the walls reduce the infection and wash it out if you if you go to pack something like this then you're looking at least kind of like a four to six week process of having to come in almost every day or every other day to have the ribbon uh, redressed and the wound redressed so we discussed with the patient we said listen we could get away with just doing an incision and drainage and a proper washout and curetting and uh, that's what we've gone for. We've shown this before. We've shown this technique. We're pioneering this technique a lot. Um, it's not the first one we've done, and we've had some great results. And we've managed to save patients having to go through that packing process. Now, a lot of you say, "Will the cyst return?" You know, in infected cysts, there's a higher probability that it will return because you're just never going to get every little piece of rubber that's uh, that's stuck in inside that hole. But at least we're going to get it back to normal and hopefully we have a good 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 inning a good stretch of having no uh, infection there now often with infections there's a lot of blood because the body is obviously trying to get its uh, its immune cells into that wound and those immune cells are carried in the blood serum so infections always have a good blood supply which is a good sign it means that it's all going to go really nice
Let me know what you think of this version of the virtual clinic discussing the videos inside the VC as well as taking questions and giving shout outs. Let me know your thoughts. Should we do it more often? Should we not? I think it's a much more interactive process. Got some questions here. Where is the pus? Where are all the likes? 700 people watching. Where are the likes guys? Hit the likes. Someone tell me how many likes there are. We've got to hit at least 500 likes. Otherwise we're not going to do this again. So there we go. So we've curated it. Give it a good clean out. And uh, we're going to close that up. So let's compare this video to another one that I've got lined up. Exactly the same kind of presentation. Infected cyst. Um, very common location. I think this other one was on the shoulder. And we've done exactly the same process. And again, you get this waterfall effect. This, this very liquid, very putrefied um, discharge. So let's cut to that video and take a look. So we're going to drop this one. So there we go. A lot of you may remember this. If not, then it's a wonderful companion video to have uh, for today's discussion on infected cysts. This is on a, on a female shoulder. So, you know, the best way to describe it is if you're wearing your handbag, where your handbag strap is going to be, this is where that cyst lies. So this poor lady, she'd had that cyst on her shoulder for some time, for one reason or another, didn't come to see us soon enough, and the infection has sprung, and it's got to this stage. You see, it's much smaller than the last chap, but it's very tense. Look how tight that skin is. It's so shiny, like it's almost going to burst. And it probably will, even if I put the, the needle in and the anesthetic. And look, we put the anesthetic right above the cyst and you can see it just swelling up. Remember to hit the like. If you're new to the channel, let me know. Put it in the messages that you're new. I want to say a big shout out to all our new viewers. If you're a new subscriber or you're new to watching the VC, I want to meet you all. I want to meet and greet all the new guys. And also, if you've got questions, let me know what the questions are. Sid G has dropped a question. Uh, do women lose their night vision earlier than men? Well, it's a difficult question. Not that I'm aware of, Sid G. I don't, I've, never, I've never come across that. Nikki... New Kick is uh, asking what happened to the first one. We're going to have a follow-up video next week and I'm going to show you exactly how that one turned up. So remember the virtual clinic is running every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at 9.30 Greenwich Mean Time. Look out for notifications, hit the alert button, check it out in the news feed and I'll be showcasing the, uh, the, the, the results of the previous surgery as well as showcasing some of the new stuff that we've got on board as well. Let me know what you think of this new format. If you like it, if you don't like it, I want to know. Let me know. A lot of new tech we're, we're trying out at lipemesis.com, trying to get you the best views and the best um, medical opinions. So really is about your, your feedback. Love to hear what everybody has to say. And you know, many of you have contributed in the past and we've taken on board and we've actually changed how we do things. So your view really matters to me. Dreamy Genie, she is jazzed to catch us live. Welcome. Who else is new to the channel? Let me know. Want to know? I want to meet and greet. New today, liking the format. That's Karen Andrews. Let's have a look who else is. Uh, Laura Moles from um, Georgia. Welcome. Greetings from California. That's Shia Cohen. Bridget Schumacher. Did you weigh the lipoma on the last video? I think we did. I think it came in at about 8 kilos. It certainly looked like that. Maybe it wasn't a kilo. Maybe I'm lying. Helen Cole, perfect day here in New, uh, in in Southern Calif uh, Carolina. Welcome. I love the new format. Screams Susanna. How are you doing? She's a trooper. Says Charles Messenger. New from Canada. That's Cajun Bella. Welcome. Luna says she's loving the new format. Awesome. Really great to hear so much uh, wonderful feedback to this new format. You know, I don't think anyone on the internet, anyone in the Popaholic community is doing this kind of 
live stream discussion. So, you know, I got to thank you all for supporting us. We like to put innovation first, put our viewers first, our patients first, and really shake things up a bit. So this is a, this is a first for us to go through the video just live with you raw like this, unedited, without the banners, without all the advertising. If you like it, let me know. If you like it, hit the like button. And then when I go back and review it, I'll know that you did like it because I'll be like, okay, so they did like it. From Bahrain, we've got Karen Alsada. Welcome, Bahrain. Fabulous waterfall, that's undefined reality. New from Tennessee, Lillian, how are you doing? This is really cool, says Anna Starnes. Sherry S, we have an infected cyst and you drain it, but the sack is so friable. Is there more tendency for it to come back? Unfortunately so. So excited to catch you live. That's Alice Smith, she's so excited. Kay. Uh, where is the practice in London? We're based in Chelsea and South Kensington, Kay. Check me out, lipemesis.com or contact me. Email is contact at lipemesis.com. Denise, how are you doing? She's loving the new format. We've got Dr. Sarah, our resident orthodontic surgeon. She's in the house. She's loving the new format, loving the voice, loving the narration. Just perfect. Dr. Sarah has her own YouTube channel covering all of your dentistry needs, check her out. Audrey, uh, not new, but she's loving the format. Christine Lee, very cool. Anna Starnes, bet that smells. Kelly D, this is amazing. Susanna Burt, did the broken sack come out? We have, I think I have to curate this one out. Uh, new from Alabama, that's Amy Shambly, welcome. This is fun, says Nancy Zimmer. Cole Smith, loving the new format. So there we go, that's a big hole, isn't it? Everybody's loving the new format. Hit the like button. We've, this is great. I'm loving it too. This video may even have some, uh, some uh, audio. Here we are just injecting that wound. Everybody is really liking the new format. This is a real first. It's amazing the, the reaction we're getting. Charles Messenger says, I have to compliment the announcer. He sounds like a cool dude. God bless him. God bless you, Charles. Mrs. Laddie from, uh, uh, where are you from? Marty Dean from uh, Red Hill, United Kingdom. Rita Dean, welcome, Red Hill. Not far from where I am at the moment. Uh, Julie White, I'm 83 years old, uh, and my dad has a has a cyst on his back. His GP says there's no need to remove it. Julie, just contact me at lipemesis.com. Contact at lipemesis.com. We've got a bit of a charitable fund, so for those of you who can't afford or want access, we've got we've got that fund available. So, you know, a lot of our viewers have contributed, so we're gonna pass that on to our customers as well. Um, Robert says, don't like this format, watching on the iPhone. So when I turn sideways for a larger close-up view, the posted remarks obscure the left side of the screen. Does anyone know how, is there a workaround on that? So for people watching on the iPhone, there must be a workaround. Paige from Portland, welcome. From New Zealand, we've got Shirley Bernstein from, uh, not a new sub, but first time watching the VC Live. That's Sarah Dooley, welcome. Watching from Barbados, that's Kayla and Hope. It's great because it feels like we're with you at the operation and you're the best cyst lipoma surgeon. So it's a pleasure. That's a wonderful comment there. I had a ganglion cyst on my wrist and they uh, wouldn't, and it wouldn't come out really. Okay. So that's a, you know, a lot of uh, our operations don't have any blood at all, but you know, these infected cysts, a lot of blood, remember the, uh, the, uh, the painkiller contains a noradrenaline, which is a vasoconstrictor. 
Dreamy says, go to the top of the screen. There is a box indicating the voice bubble. Click it and the words disappear. Okay, I hope that was useful, whoever was asking about that on the iPhone. Um, Patricia Tesma from Wisconsin, she is addicted. That's the kind of viewer we like. Erica, she's saying hi. Debbie Janowski, where on the body is this? This is the shoulder where you might put the handbag strap. Good morning from Sydney, that's Simone Matthews. Uh, Tiger Shanae says, I like the format, but we need a way to take the comments away. Okay, we can have a look and see what we can do about that. I've taken the comments off the screen, but maybe there is another thing we can do. Keely Doll, hi everybody. She's saying everybody, Patricia Hadrick from New Orleans. I'm still loving those New Orleans um, um, uh, um, pralines that I received the other day. So there we go, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. That was really great fun watching those videos with you. I could literally do this all day long, but we've got to call it a night because it's getting late. Remember, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Real pleasure to have you. And if you're old friends, it's so good to catch you all live. Remember, this is a massive global movement, a community where we all get together, a lot of friendships, a lot of people messaging me on Instagram, Facebook, telling me that they've made new friends all over the world. There's no need to be lonely or isolated during COVID-19 when we've got our each other. We're using the internet and we can bridge that gap. So join me on this channel. Remember, every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at the same time, that's 9.30 Greenwich Mean Time, I'll be running the virtual clinic, the same kind of format. We'll be looking at the latest videos, uh, compilation videos, other videos that I haven't been able to release on YouTube because they've been either too short or there's been an issue with the videoing, the blur, the quality, and maybe it's better suited to the virtual clinic. But remember, whatever you do, stay safe wherever you are in the world. God bless you. Until next.